In this episode, we're still near Cedros Island in Mexico with the boys from Fish Village at a place called Chester's Rock. We just scarfed down a lunch of sandwiches and fresh shrimp ceviche yeah. after absolutely smacking the calico bass all morning. The fish count is oh, over 100 crazy. for the group so far, and spirits are high. <laughs> we hop back in the kayaks, and Jeff takes us to the other side of the small island to show us one of the cooler pieces of history that I've ever run into in the wild. We came over here to this island. There's actually a shipwreck on it. I'll show y'all. A few years back, I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. And now, the boys from Fish Village and I are scouring the world for the ultimate fishing destinations. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. Nice! We own them now. We came over here to this island. There's actually a shipwreck on it. I'll show y'all. Not sure how long. Jeff said it's been here at least 50 years. Had to have been. It's like just half of a ship up against this island. Looking at the ship lodged way up on the rocks has my imagination running wild. I take a break from fishing to wonder at the situation that put her up there. This place must have looked very different that night, with huge swells being the only possible explanation for her current position. I think of the crew and what that impact must have felt like as they were driven into the unforgiving spit of land jutting up from the surrounding kelp forest. Luckily for them, they weren't too far from the mainland, but a swim in these waters would have you looking dangerously like a clumsy seal. And we all know what big white predator likes to munch on those guys. While Jeff says he's never seen them here, we are very much within their range. And clearly, Lady Luck had abandoned these sailors on that fateful night. My curiosity peaked, I get back to the task at hand. We're not sure what the story is behind that. If anyone knows it, let us know. If you know what happened to this ship, it must have been a bad day. I mean, it's way up on the rocks. I can't even imagine. But clearly, he got sucked into between these two islands and inadvertently made a little bird sanctuary over here. <laughs> Yep. Ah, fish, 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 fish. Good one. Ah, oh, feels like a pretty good one. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. You think that's fishing fun? Yeah, I think so, dude. That's a big fish. I'd say that's my 19th personal best for the day. Mike say maybe pushing five pounds. And that's a good solid calico bass right here off this island with a sunken ship on it. Absolutely crazy. What a day. You. Let's let this beautiful fish go. As I've been reminded so many trips before, the fish are truly just a bonus. Even if the fish hadn't wanted to play ball today, the wildlife encounters and incredible scenery would have made for a day well spent regardless. But. We aren't done yet. Woo. That sea lion just like rushed at me and dove straight down right when he got to my boat. It scared me, I thought he was gonna ram me. What a cool spot. So rad. Oh, it's a uh, sand bass, baby. Yeah, sand bass. Yeah. Nice. Another species for the trip. That is what they call a sand bass. It's got these vertical bars on it. I caught one of these back in uh, Dana Point a few years ago when I first met Mike Ponce. And yeah, another new species for the trip. Pretty little fish. They don't get quite as big as calicos usually, but they, they do get much bigger than this. It's just a baby, but still pretty cool. He actually hit it on the way down. Nice. Pretty fish. <laughs> that guy hit something a little different. I'm throwing this now. So this is the kelp assassin from Reeves Lures, and that is a gulp trailer. Same color. I picked that up in New Zealand when we were fishing there for yellowtail. We were catching yellowtail and those Australasian snapper on it. And uh, yeah, just trying something different. I actually just had two barracuda. 
kind of small barracuda full of it to the boat, dropped it right to the bottom, and something picked it up on the way down was that little sand bass. I was about to go in here and uh, see if uh, there's any calico bass or maybe even sheep, I mean, never know, hanging out around the back of this island. One problem is I am downwind and there's about a billion birds have uh, claimed this rock and shipwreck as home and I'm downwind of that smell. It's like fishing in a chicken coop. But if there's fish here, I'll power through it. Let's find out. Yep. Yep. Uh, feels like a pretty good one. Jeff's on, everyone's hooking up. This has been the ticket today, the weedless, big old swim bait as I'm gonna start calling it. That guy right there equals that all day. Such a fun fight and uh, it's a pretty technical way to fish. Oh God, oh Lord have mercy. I'm sorry. I just missed one right before this too. But we already have enough for dinner. We've been wearing them out. So we'll let the, let this beauty on our way. Fish, fish out. Woo, 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 woo. There we go. Another one, they're all decent fish. Oh my gosh, I just missed him and he came back and just exploded on the surface and that might be the biggest of the day. Now that is a calico bass, ladies and gents. He missed the bait completely. I was getting all frustrated and I stopped and I just heard an explosion. And there he was taking off with it. And I watched him wrap around a kelp sock. It all happened so close to the boat. That was such just like a visual fight and catch. Oh my gosh. Woo! Nice. I think that's PB number nine for today. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. But I, I can't even begin to tell you guys. You got to come out here and do this. Cedros kayak fishing, y'all. Come out here and get you some. They are chewing. Woo! And there he goes. Nice. Oh my God, that was awesome. That was awesome. He completely destroyed this swim bait, but I'm gonna try to make this guy work. Anyways, this jig head is done. Oh, what a place, what a fish. What a trip. Woo! Hey, this is Rob. I just realized my radio was off, so if y'all been calling me, let me know. If not, uh, I just got my new PB again. Yeah, fish, fish. Fish. They're all loaded up in the panga. I think they're trying to tell me we gotta get the you know what out of here. Oh, what an incredible day. Cedros kayak fishing, if it ain't on your list, put it on your list. Fish Village is offering trips right now. Y'all gotta get out of here and come do this. Oh, that's so much fun. Woo! A little shower to send me off. All right, we got about a 45 minute ride back to the lodge. And I think we caught about 200 fish today, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. Man, this calico bass fishing thing, I get it now, y'all. I get it. 
That is fun right there. I don't care who you are. Blow this joint. I'm ready for a beer and some clean clothes. See you later, sea lions. <laughs> Sit out here all day and do that. Ante Lalo. The bite's still on fire right there, man. I think that was six more fish in like eight casts, including probably a six pounder. Definitely my personal best. Significantly bigger than the one that you were there when I caught. Thanks, fellas. Good? Bro, I just got six more right there in the stuff. And it was one of those, missed it, I'm like, ah! And then I hear katoosh, and I'm like, oh my god! Like it was just sitting there, and he came back and smashed it. Oh, that was awesome. Why the long face? Nice. Why the long face? I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that one. Back to El Pueblo. After one of the most action-packed days of fishing I can remember in a while. I don't remember the last time I giggled that much. That was so fun. Que pasa amigos? What's up guys? Now we're gonna get back to the lodge. We're gonna clean up these calicos. We kept about one per person. Some of the smaller ones, two, three pounders. And then Lulu's gonna cook it up. Uh, she's calling it. Calico Veracruz. I don't know what that means yet, but you're gonna find out with me. It's gonna be good I know that everything she's made so far has been amazing Yeah, a little catch and cook. Jeff's gonna hop off go get the truck Looking forward to this Jeff runs a tight crew and they begin cleaning off the boats and gear as soon as we get back Today was our last day fishing from the kayaks, but Ronco doesn't return with our plane until midday tomorrow. So we plan to chase some different species from the pongas to get one more half day in. But now it's time to eat, and we've all worked up a serious appetite. Más fresca no puede ser. Solamente tenemos que fishing. This guy's fast. Perfecto, amigo. Perfecto. Does not get any pressure. All right, I just took a shower that changed my life. Feel like a new man. Now we're gonna go check in with Lulu. I think she's about to start cooking up these calicots. Hello, Let's see. Hola. Listo. Listo? Wow, well, perfecto. Got some butter, coating the foil with butter. Okay. Got some calico bass. Okay. Aquí preparé mayonesa, mostaza, y salsa del pato. Okay. Okay. So that's mayonnaise, mustard, and some kind of salsa right there. Kind of. Lulu's secret sauce, I think. She's giving that a good coating too. Celery. Uh -huh. Some carrots. Chile verde, Chile California, no sé cómo le llamen. Oh yeah, yeah, verdes, yeah. Uh -huh. Ajo. So we got garlic and green bell peppers. Okay. Cebollas. Onions, white onions. Okay. Uh, a little more, okay. Que bella es, los colores, Claro, siempre. Okay. A little bit of salt. She's gonna wrap this up. Oh, okay. So there you have it, folks. There's Lulu's secret calico recipe. She's gonna put that in the oven at 350 degrees for about an hour, or maybe even longer. So it's gonna really break down. It's gonna be really good. Can you wait an hour? <laughs> it looks like it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Just ask. I'm hungry. Yeah, so uh, we'll see you guys back here in about an hour. We're gonna be digging into this. It looks, uh, I can already tell it's gonna be good. Lulu actually doesn't make anything that's not good. No. ¿Cómo te llamas? Marco. Marco. Marco here has got some 
stuff that he makes. See if anyone wants some souvenirs for their time here. That's some cool stuff right here, man. I think Nick might be looking for something for the for his better half. Maybe the kiddos. Definitely. If you're gonna have kids one day, Rob. Doubt it. No, you will. You're gonna fuck up and yes, son of a He's a <laughs> fair, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Good and resisted. Marco's little stud. Picked up a little uh, abalone bracelet. I don't know. I mean, I'll give that to someone. Super cool, though. It's awesome to support this town. This thing was 60 pesos, which is about $3. Maybe $3.10. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I just gave him a 10. Told him to keep the change. But uh, just crazy. You can get some good values around here if you want some handmade uh, trinkets or art or jewelry. It's a cool place. Such a cool place. Look at that. Gaelina, wow. Okay. Wow. Shoo, some extra juice. That's the good stuff. Que rico. Man, I'm excited for that. There is the finished product. We'll give you the taste review here in a minute. She'll be serving this with rice, she says. And it smells amazing. Take my word for it. Free <laughs> dinner tequila shot. <laughs> Rob and I were already gonna do it. We're just trying to include you guys. Yes? No? Uh, no. You're good. I'm not gonna go on the wrong page like I did last night. He's all like crap. Ooh-wee, that looks good. Hey, brother. It smells Enjoy amazing. Boys. Yeah. Yeah. Bon appetit or salut or I don't have. Salud. 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 Rice, little fish. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's see what we're doing here. This is money. Oh yeah. Que rico, little gracias. Delicious. Super flaky. Look at that. It's falling apart. All the vegetables and that sauce, man, it's secret sauce. It's like mayonnaise, mustard, and some kind of salsa. A pato. A pato? It's a uh, spicy tomato sauce. Ah, she said salsa de pato. I was, I was wondering what she was talking about. Buttery, creamy, that fish just melts in your mouth. Onion and bell pepper, this is so good. So good. This already limes on the table, guys. Oh yeah, didn't even lime it, I just dug in. I was like, you're making like a taco? Yeah, I'm gonna do like a little thing here. Do like a little thing here. How's that thing? Where's a good move? These tortillas, man. Mm, they're a thing just on their own. Maximum gluten, that's why. That's it. Absolutely delicious. You can just make your gluten with this meal. Calico Veracruz, absolutely delicious. Today was one of the more fun fishing days of my whole life. Now we're gonna enjoy it with friends, fresh as it gets. It was literally flopping around the fillet table. That was a new experience for me. But uh, just can't say enough about this place, these fish, or this food. Mm. And our boy Jeff. Yeah. Man, Jeff, thanks for everything. Solid. Seriously. So solid. Absolutely. World class hospitality, man, all the way around. Yep. No joke. Thank you. Do it right, my friend. At the end of the day, this is what it's all about. It covers up your feet smell. <laughs> Sharing this meal of organic protein that we harvested from the sea ourselves reminds me of just how much has changed for us as a species. We caught over 200 fish between the five of us, but we kept just enough to feed ourselves and the crew. Grocery stores have stolen something primal from us, something that's nestled deep within all of us to some extent, and that's the will and desire to harvest fresh ingredients from the world around us. We were once hunter-gatherers, and getting back to my roots in some small way always stirs something deep within my heart. And breaking bread or ripping tortillas with great friends, both old and new, will simply never get old for me. All right, celebrate a good day. A little uh, Mexican. <laughs> But <laughs> take two. <laughs> I spilled the beer. I spilled the beer. I'll own it. I'll own it. Well, like, we're just gonna uh, roll with it. We're just like, we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> Movie magic, Jeff. Oh, Movie magic. Shit, I'm, oh, a I'm a professional. I'm a professional. Yeah, right.
for this year. All right, all right. I'll all right, grab all right. the bottle. <laughs> Relax, <laughs> like you never spilled anything before. Take two. We're gonna roll with it. Yeah, pour it up. You want me to pour it? Up? Pour it up. Maduro, hundred percent de agave. Who's doing this? You, Nick. Let's see. Hoo-wee. <laughs> Jesus. I'm buckling under pressure right now, you guys. I'm folding like origami. All right. <laughs> who's doing them? Knife down, Robert. <laughs> nah, who's doing them? Yeah, let's go. Salud, amigo. Salud. Hey, amigo. Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> Coming up in the last installment of this series, we're taking the Pongas to a new area with one goal, variety. We'll be jigging, tossing lures, and dropping bait for as many different species as we can get into. And the fish are sending us off with another bang. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Got it! Yeah!